The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul, put you in his pocket, and take you for a stroll. Beware the red-eyed ravens, they mean the reaper's near. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in Looks his like pocket there's a plant and take you for booth. a stroll. Those are some pretty blue flowers. Beware the red-eyed raven. I can't get they to the flowers. The They're sealed near. up inside the he'll booth. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. Whoa, Amy, what are you doing? Just letting these flowers breathe. Don't get near the broken glass, okay? Okay. The reaper watches I really from hope the I skies to keep and sends ahead his birds. Today. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. I kept meaning to fix that gate, but I never got around to it. I don't know. It seems to have a certain charm now. If you can't hear singing, repair, but you see their it eyes glow really red, serve much of a the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. Nice color. It's a welcome change from all this green and brown. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your the soul. The aristocracy, Put guiding you in tomorrow's his pocket youth. And I know take I certainly wouldn't want them getting that close to me if I was a kid. Beware the red I'd love ravens. to tear it down, they mean but it's practically the fused to the wall. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. The door to my humble abode. Hope I remember to lock it. It's nice to be home. I just wish I could forget about everything and stay in for the rest of the day. Of course, I'm biased, but in my opinion, that's the best decorated door in town. The hubcap from the first car I ever worked on. That's fine where it is. The old family computer hasn't worked in years, but I remember playing games on it with Dad. It's not in working condition. The motherboard fried a long time ago, and I haven't been able to find a new one anywhere. There wasn't much oil in the last can I found. Hopefully the next one will be fuller. It's not finished draining yet. A bunch of my old projects. Most of them are broken, but they have sentimental value. They are mostly broken, but I can't bring myself to throw them out. It took quite a while, but I've finally been able to amass a decent set of tools. No, these tools are for restoration work only. I'm not risking damaging them out there. That's my cast iron bucket. It comes in handy when I need to heat things up. You're coming with me, bucket. He was always so happy when we were fixing things together. He was always so... Not the most flattering angle, but it's a nice picture anyway. Nice to see not much has changed with these two.
This was taken shortly after they were married. They look so happy. I should really start getting into the habit of making my bed. Not sleepy right now. I keep stuff in here sometimes, but lately it's more decorative than functional. It's empty. I haven't kept anything in there for years. Various mechanical parts and junk I've picked up to use in my projects. While I like looking at my childhood knickknacks, none of them will do me any good out there. You'll be done one day soon, I promise. I won't let Dad down. I've hit a dead end on this thing. Until I find the right parts, there's not much more I can do. My cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. I have business with Tiberius. Very good. Your weapon, please. Welcome back. I had a vision I'd be seeing you again. Ah, you return! Yes, and I delivered the letter to Danton. Excellent. You have made contact with them. Good work. So, do you have any more jobs for me? Yes, as promised. As I'm sure you've gathered, Danton is the head of a group of terrorists bent on destroying the government. I need you to be my spy. Spy? Are you serious? Quite serious, I'm afraid. I can assure you that they have nothing but the destruction of our society in mind. Would you watch this new civilization we've struggled to build be undone by a group of upstarts? No, but they don't really seem like much of a threat, just a group of idealists. Yes, and the last time a group of idealists formed, they attempted to destroy the Ministry of Knowledge. Danton's group is an ever-growing threat, and they must be controlled and subdued as quickly as possible. Return to them. Tell them you wish to aid them. If they request you perform some task for them, do so to gain their trust. Of course, use your judgment wisely. If you break any laws, I can only offer you so much protection. When you know more of what they plan, come back and inform me. And as before, do not let them know you are there on my behalf. They would surely kill you on the spot. I... I don't know. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. I realize this is a dangerous undertaking. If you succeed, I can offer you a government job. You'll be able to receive vaccine as you need it. If I can have a mechanics job, then we have a deal. I'm sure we can arrange something. I wish you luck in your task. Of course I have a backup plan. Now behave yourself, and let us continue with arithmetic. I wish you luck on your task, young lady, and offer some advice. 
beware false friends. How did you... Right, I guess that's your job. Never mind. Here's your weapon back. Thanks. how you can't see the face underneath the hood. Someone once told me that this is the patron saint of sudden death. How fitting. This statue has been heavily damaged. It's practically unrecognizable. I don't think I can do much to fix it. She looks kinda happy. She's smiling anyway. Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? Who are you, miss? I'm Claire. Who are you? Amy. I'm guessing you're one of the acolytes of the Reaper? You guessed correctly. I'm here to make sure those who pass through that door are ready to die. That seems like a pretty lofty responsibility to give to one person. Not as much as you would think. Most people are worthy. They just don't know it yet. What are you all doing here? Worship. We worship the Reaper and wait for our times to come. When any of our members expire, it's cause for celebration. Are there many of you? Around 50 of us currently, but we always accept those who truly seek death into our flock. I'll just be going. Farewell. Judging from the location, I would say that head belongs to the broken statue. I don't think carrying around a severed marble head will help much. It would just weigh me down. Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? What else can you tell me about life before the bombs? There were so many things people had. Electricity, running water, mobile phones. I think most of us took those things for granted. People used to say that technology was ruining our humanity, that we were forgetting how to talk to each other if it wasn't through some device. Funny how it took the near collapse of society to bring us back together. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I'm interested in reading about philosophy. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Citizens, 
If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. A reminder to all citizens, the next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held tomorrow. Amy, didn't expect to see you back so soon. Yeah, I remembered that I had something else to talk to Danton about. No big deal, really. Don't mind me. Whatever you say. You again? I'd like to speak with Danton, please. Fine. Wait here. So you're back. What is it now? I know who you are, and what your people are doing. I'd... I'd like to help. I'm flattered that you want to help us. But I feel we have some matters to resolve first. What matters are those? Enough of these games. You're going to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here alive. What? I have been! Let's not be so drastic! Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm stupid? I had you followed when you left here. I know you went to the Ministry of Energy. Now I'm only gonna ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you working for Tiberius or aren't you? I am. I was told to spy on you and report everything I can. Well, you're either a terrible spy, or your loyalty to Tiberius is quite lacking. It's a lottery job. I'm just doing what I was told. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not gonna make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? What are you talking about? You have access to vaccine? Not just yet, but if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon and Gus? Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. I... had no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for you. Oh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. He's studying some documents. Looks pretty engrossed. He looks busy. I better not. He's sound asleep. Nice to know things are relaxed enough around here that he can do that. I don't want to wake him. He seems to be hard at work on something. Looks like a radio. That's far enough. Get back.
Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, uh, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right. Sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the others? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective mask. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is the old Centrex factory. Even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough, I can't lose her too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Have you got anything good for sale? As a matter of fact, I did manage to get something new which might interest you. What is it? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and dropped his flintlock pistol. It got a bit damaged, but I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, I'd love to. What are you willing to trade for it? Well, it's mostly in new condition, so it would have to be something fairly valuable. But you know I'm not terribly fussy. Anything you think I might like. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. Attention, citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry I don't of think he'd be interested in that. So, will save lives. I don't think he'd be interested in that. A reminder to all citizens. Lots of people look at Gordon's stuff. Not many people actually buy anything, though. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. How are you doing today, Gus? Cause I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so loud. Sorry. So, how long have you been, you know? About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. It makes me feel like I'm part of something important. Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. Not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. It's good to see Gus getting customers. Centrex. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium glass before the bombs. I would have expected these things to be completely boarded up, or at least sealed. It just says, Furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning? It just says... Remember Blast Day. Support the aristocracy, and you will be supported. I doubt it'll come off the wall. It's been stuck there so long. Nice looking vehicle. Doesn't look like it would take too much to restore it. Just a couple of spark plugs, most likely. I haven't got time to do much scavenging right now. Maybe later. Hmm. What idiot would leave this wood lying around? It's in such good condition. I don't need to take any more wood right now.
Huh, it's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Denby, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. Denby looks right at home in here. Hey, Denby? Yeah? How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just... I felt like I was getting in the way. Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Does any of the stuff in here still work? Yeah, I, I think the furnace still works. It's connected to the gas anyway. The gas is still on? Yeah, it's on a natural line, so it's still under pressure even though the power's been cut. I try to keep it off as much as I can though, just in case. Besides, if you need natural gas, I've pretty much got you covered. Good to know. Just don't light yourself on fire. You know, I've got the perfect life. What the hell are you talking about, Amy? Have you gone crazy? No, I... Oh, just forget it. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. That furnace could really be useful. This is a really great find. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Not much I can do with the outside of the furnace. It's best just not to touch it. I learned that the hard way. Nothing going on in there right now. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. Why are all these burnt papers on the floor? Oh, I always burn my bad drawings. But why would you do that? What's the point in keeping things around if they don't represent you? They're of no use to me. Harsh. Pretty. Too bad the legs are broken. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. I don't want to risk damaging it any further. Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah, I keep them around for inspiration. They're up too high. Besides, I think they liven the place up. Yeah, don't mess up my decorations. Hey, these are pretty good. All yours? Yeah, they're okay, I guess. My favorite's the one of the pilot. What are all these signatures? Like I said, I've been practicing copying handwriting. Those are just my practice sheets. Hey, try not to touch the drawings, okay? Sorry. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. You can have it when I've finished if you want. Must be some kind of drain. It doesn't smell very nice down there. That's not my fault, in case you were wondering. I wasn't, but thanks for the clarification. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if there was. I'm guessing this valve must control some kind of gas flow. 
Assuming it still works, of course. Yep, it does. Take care of yourself, Denby. I'll try my best. Marishka always seems to have good food to sell. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! Looks like you had quite the harvest. Yes, thankfully. Though nothing is keeping very long, weeds have become a big problem. Anything you want? You're looking very skinny these days. You should eat. Take a pumpkin. Half price for you. You can make pumpkin soup. You need your strength. Ah, uh, no. It's okay. One of these days, you'll get so skinny, you'll turn around and I won't be able to see you anymore. It's all right, Marishka. I ate yesterday. I'll be fine for a little while longer. No, no. You worry me when you say things like that. Relax. It's okay. I'm not dead yet. You said something about weeds being a problem? What are they called? What do they look like? Blue burglar. It grows very fast and very difficult to control. Pretty blue flowers, though. Too bad they ruined my vegetables. Luckily, I finally got them under control. They won't come back for a long time. Marishka, is this by any chance the weed you were telling me about? Yes. Take it away, Amy, and be careful. You let that thing get into the ground, and before you know it, they're everywhere. I'll be careful with it, I promise. You know, as tough as things are, I feel like I've got the perfect life. I'm happy for you, Amy. You're always so positive. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Is that you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about my sheep. Take a look around. Hell, just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. Why are all these ravens hanging around? Well, they're hungry too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. Little bastards have gotten bold, too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. Pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hell hole, that's all we can ask for in our last moment. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about. It's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but this was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. 
I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Any time, Amy. I didn't realize you knew so much about the Reaper cult. I don't, and I don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the Reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the Reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half widow believes that crap and sees a raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhickey, all of it. Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. I'm sorry you're having trouble, Pop, but I've got the perfect life. Is that a fact? Yeah. Did Gus not tell you? Tell me what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Whatever you say, Amy. What did you say the problem with your sheep was? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep... I'll keep an eye out. That'd be mighty kind of you. I have to go now. Come back and visit whenever you like. Pop's been like a second father to me. I remember when he was always smiling and joking, but lately he's just been looking really old. These don't look like they've been used for quite some time. They look like they would fall apart as soon as I touch them. I wish these birds would stop staring at me. Shoo! Poor thing. Uh, no thanks. Poor thing. It doesn't seem to be doing a very good job of scaring away birds. Can't understand why. That gas mask on the face is pretty damn creepy. Say, Pop, would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. I shouldn't mess with it any further. thing has been broken for years. I don't know why Pop doesn't just take it down. It is way beyond repair. The gas mask's filter is empty, which makes it pretty useless. This is apparently Blue Burglar, a weed that grows incredibly fast. Pop, have you seen this weed before? Sure, that's Blue Burglar. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Where'd you get it? There's some growing near my place. Why is it called Blue Burglar? Because it creeps up on you seemingly overnight. Plant just one and your whole field will be full of them in a month. Would your sheep eat it? I think they'd eat anything at this point. Wouldn't hurt to try. Thanks, Amy. I'll go get some more and plant it tonight. At least the sheep we've got left might still stand a chance. Happy to help. It's the way back to the city. Butcher, a word, if you would. Yeah, what is it? The Ministry of Resources is in need. You are hereby requested to provide your stocks of meat for government distribution. But I hardly have any meat to spare, and it'll be a while before I can get more. Be that as it may, Aurelius has extended you the courtesy. 
In exchange, you will be provided two water purifiers per month. I don't know. I have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? What was it you said you'd trade for the pistol? Anything of similar value. Those aristocrats have some pretty nice stuff. But you know I'm not terribly fussy. Anything you think I might like. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. Gordon, I know you said you wanted a gas mask. I've got this one, but the filter is empty. Would you at least be willing to trade the pistol for it? Yes, this is good. If I can get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Take the pistol. But if you find any filters... You'll get your filter, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. Citizens, this is a reminder that the Ministry of Medicine will continue conducting weekly screenings for Green Law. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. Your sheep should be fine now. Really? What did you do? Just gave Pop some blue burglar. He said it should be able to feed the sheep soon. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Amy. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help. I saw you having words with that guard. What was that all about? Eh, yeah, nothing. He was just trying to get me to sell out to the government. I promised Danton I'd give the rebels my extra supplies. I'm not betraying her for the wigheads. I admire your loyalty. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Do you have any other stories about life before the bombs? Things weren't always perfect, you know. We had been at war for who knows how many years. I lost count of how many attempts at peace were made before starting to fight all over again. Who were we at war with? The SPA. They were, or I suppose still are, a union of countries who wanted our reserves of petroleum and minerals. In the end, they decided if they couldn't have them, no one could. And so they bombed us. Coming out here, reading books, it makes me realize I've got the perfect life. Ah, I see. I do as well. It gives me pleasure to help how I can, although I'm too old to fight. What made you decide to join them? Danton makes some good points, despite being a bit overzealous. The favoritism the aristocracy showed their elite patrons after the plague began is completely inexcusable. Once the poor couldn't fund their medical research, we were quickly cast aside for those who could. Danton is brash, perhaps a bit foolish, but her ideals are what we need. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you.
reminder to all citizens, the next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held tomorrow at sundown. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Thanks. Hopefully something to replace the filter won't be too hard to come by. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try knocking. Fair point. Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah. And then the burnt smell will linger for days. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. I've got a piece of wood in my bucket. What are you doing? An experiment. Boring! Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool then. The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Nothing going on in there right now. But there is the smell of gas wafting out. That's a start. It wasn't me, I swear. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. Now that is a nice sight. Yeah, really makes this place feel homey. So, did your experiment work? Don't be so nosy, Denby. My cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. Time for me to go. Okay, see ya. I don't think he'd be interested in that. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? I'm still on the lookout for something to fix your gas mask. Thanks. Hopefully something to replace the filter won't be too hard to come by. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime.
just had to come back. Uh, I can't. I'll knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy. Don't get into any trouble, Dunby. I won't if you won't. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, I don't the need reaper to take will be coming to take away the dead. When the, the reaper kids love comes playing outside around, my house. He'll take away They're okay, your soul. as long as they don't make too much Put noise. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. Hey guys, what's going on? Hi, Amy. Where did you kids find that jump rope? Jimmy found it in a field behind his house. Pretty cool, huh? We haven't had something like this to play with in a long time. Yeah, it's pretty great. How about letting me have a turn? Really? Sure, I was pretty good at jumping rope when I was a kid. Well, okay. CC my playmate, come scavenge stuff with me, and we'll be jolly friends. Climb up the rotten tree, climb down this ladder, into my secret room, and we'll be jolly friends, till all goes boom. Miss Susie went to market, she heard the ringing bell. The guards came for Miss Susie and sent her off to Hello, Mr. Nero. Please do you have the time? If you don't stop and tell me, I'll kick your big behind the broken window. There was a piece of glass. Tiberius sat on it and cut up his dumb. Ask me no more questions. Tell me no more lies. Germanicus and Claudius forgot to do their flies are on the bodies. Ravens in the park. Miss Susie saw the reaper in the D.A.R.K. dark. Okay, I think that's enough for me. That's a pretty scary rhyme you're saying, isn't it? Only if you're scared of the Reaper, like Jimmy. He saw a raven yesterday and peed his pants. Do you believe in the Reaper, Amy? No, it's just a story. Yeah, I don't get how people can be scared of something like that. Well, you're pretty brave, Tina. Yeah, I know. Aren't you kids supposed to be in school? No, school got canceled this week because our teacher got green lung. Well, that's awful. Is she going to be okay? Dunno. She didn't look too sick, so maybe she'll be back soon. I hope she is. Miss Campbell is nice. I'd be sad if she got sent to the quarantine zone. I'm sure she'll be back next week. You'll see. I'll see you kids later. Bye, Amy. Beware the red-eyed ravens. They mean the reaper's near. He'll take away your... Watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies. The How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? Interesting company you keep downstairs. So, you're working for them now, are you? It seems that way. We've been hard-pressed to find new recruits. You're a welcome sight. People are scared, 
Between the plague and rumors of the Reaper going around, nobody wants to get their hands too dirty if they could help it. Well, except for me. I guess it's easier to be consistently miserable than to take a tough road to happiness. You're starting to sound like Danton now. Be careful where you say that. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, maybe. I shouldn't go back in there until I've helped both Gus and Gordon. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about what it was like before the bombs. I remember when I'd come home from teaching at the university. My wife would have dinner prepared, and we'd eat together while listening to music. That was our nightly tradition. Dinner, some nice jazz, and hot mint tea afterwards. It wasn't anything special, but... It was our life. I think that's probably what I miss the most. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Do you happen to know where I could find some salt? Salt? Hmm. I know Gus uses it to cure his meats. Why not try asking him? I'll see you later, Nelson. I look forward to your return. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I'm looking for salt, like the kind you use on meats. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while, and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile and you'll find it. Thanks. we Will do. See you later, Gus. You bet. I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. Am I hearing things, or is that... Music. Looks like this train has been here a long time. I wonder when the last time it actually ran was. It's locked. How odd. Hmm. This door looks as though it's been in use recently. Locked. How odd.
I'm surprised this thing hasn't been chopped down for firewood yet. It's way beyond any sort of help now. Looks as though someone has been excavating for salt here. Probably Gus. Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. I don't think I need any more salt. Salt is useful for preserving meat, but it can also have some more creative applications. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? This plank of wood is pretty sturdy. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. Nothing going on in there right now, but there is the smell of gas wafting out. That's a start. It wasn't me, I swear. burn long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Burning the salt-infused wood left me with this lump of activated carbon. Don't get into any trouble, Denby. Hey, I'm not the one going around setting stuff on fire. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I... I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. I thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. Merchant, a word if you would. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you ten food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I... don't know. Ten food vouchers a week is a lot, but... I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. Citizens, 
Two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of last day. Glad to see you've returned. I assume you've managed to sort things out with our suppliers? Yes. You've done well, Amy. I think you'll get along here just fine. But understand this. Committing yourself to help the Resistance is not a promise made lightly. We require your full cooperation and transparency. No secrets or lies. Do I make myself clear? I understand, but remember not to ask for things you can't return. Naturally. Now come with me. Thank you for helping our suppliers. As you can probably tell, recruitment has been slow, which has hindered our progress. But I think with your help, we just may be able to initiate some changes. What is it you had in mind? That letter you brought us came from our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. It contained extremely valuable information. I need you to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine and confirm what this letter says. Do you have any questions? What's the plan for getting me into the Ministry of Medicine? An excellent question. You know how the wealthy have contracts with the aristocracy based on their support when they first formed? I have a vague idea, sure. If a government supporter were to show signs of green lung, the aristocracy would waste no time in sending a doctor to treat them. I want you to go to Fripp Square. My sources tell me that a notable supporter has recently been showing symptoms of the plague. His name is Silas Harrison. He should be visited by a doctor very soon. Find out when and where the visit will take place. Then, intercept the doctor, disguise yourself, and enter the Ministry of Medicine. Once you've done that, you'll locate the central storage room, where they keep the vaccine supply. I suspect that's where you'll find what we're looking for. Maybe I should write all this down. It's a lot to keep track of. No. I'm sorry, but we can't have a paper trail. I trust you'll be able to make this happen. I know it's complicated and dangerous, but believe me when I say this information will change everything. Can you tell me what it is I'm meant to find? Our contact was unable to provide the exact details in case the letter was intercepted. But if the information he did give us is correct, it means the government is covering up something very important having to do with the green lung vaccine. If you confirm this, it will be exactly what we need to expose the government's lies and incite a revolution. What if it turns out to be a false lead? It won't. Believe me, you'll find something in there. You have to. If you're so against the government, why do you use the Ministry of Medicine symbol as your code to get in here? That's exactly what the aristocracy would expect. Having our own symbol would make us easier to find once they figured out what it was. Sometimes the best way to hide things is to put them in plain sight. This Milton, who was he? Why did knowing my father make him trust me? As I mentioned before, he was our double agent in the Ministry of Energy. With his help, we were able to establish our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. In the early days of the rebellion, Milton also recruited your father as the official mechanic. They were good friends. I never met Cooper myself, but my understanding is that he was just as loyal as Milton. Losing them both has been a blow. I think we'll manage, though. After all, we have you now. You mentioned my father was with the Rebellion in the early days. How come he never mentioned it? It doesn't surprise me. The previous attempt at a Rebellion was met with disastrous failure. They didn't manage to get very far before being discovered and quelled by the aristocracy. Your father and Milton were the only original members to escape unharmed. It's taken us a very long time to get back on track, but I intend to avenge our forefathers and deliver the justice they died for. I guess I should get started. Good. Head over to Fripp Square and find out where Harrison is. That should get you close enough to intercept his doctor. You might also try checking at the Ministry itself. They might have some information on when the doctor is set to make his house call. Once you're in the Ministry, you can identify our contact by using the code phrase. I'm not sure how much help he'll be able to give you, but having an ally on the inside is at least better than nothing. I wish you luck, Amy. Remember that if you succeed, the Resistance will reward you in far greater ways than the aristocracy ever could. 
She looks like she means business. Looks like she's writing down coordinates on that map. A somewhat crude map of the city. Looks like they're planning something near the Ministry of Energy Tower. I know my way around the city. I don't need a map. I shouldn't interrupt. She's hard at work. Rule 1. Do not talk about the Rebellion. Rule 2. Do not talk about the Rebellion. Shouldn't you be getting on with your task, Amy? There's a bunch of stuff scribbled on it. Don't waste time with that, Amy. You've got more important things to be doing. They must use this for target practice. The wig and noose are a nice touch. I think it's meant for target practice, not boxing. She's really good. I've never seen someone's hands move so quickly. I don't want to break her concentration. He's doing a nice job fixing that crossbow. Is that an Ellen wrench? Yep, scavenged it out in the waste. I got lucky. I'll say you did. I've been looking for one for ages. Can let you borrow this one once I'm done with it, if you need it. Remember to wipe your feet when entering. There are no maids in this resistance. I should probably leave it where it is. He seems to be hard at work on something. Looks like a radio. Need any help with that? Nah, I'm alright. Hey. What do you want? How'd you get involved with Danton anyway? She's family. She is? Yeah. When her parents died of green lung, she was left homeless and forced to beg on the streets. My folks took pity and adopted her. She can be kind of hot-tempered and rush into things, but I try and keep her in check as best I can. What's your theory on what's inside the Ministry of Medicine? Knowing the aristocracy, it could be just about anything. But from what I've heard Danton say, it's definitely something big. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. She doesn't look very friendly. Uh, hi. Don't bother. The aristocrats cut out her tongue. My god! That's awful! Why would they do that? She used to work for the Ministry of Knowledge. She was caught stealing books, and that was her punishment. Apparently, Claudius did it himself. Ugly business. She can't speak. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. Good day to you, merchant. Go away, you dog. I have nothing to say to you. Now, now, there's no need to be. I just try to make my living here. I have family to take care of, and no help from the aristocracy. Well, if you would just let me... My brother Pavel went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's dead. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch us starve. You are young. You do not remember life before the bombs. It was different. Guards were our friends, not monsters. I appreciate your position, but... Look, I think it's best if you just go. She's clearly upset. Fine. I was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. Oh, thank you, Amy. I always get so angry when I see those guards. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! You really shouldn't make trouble with the guards. I'm not making trouble. It's them who are causing all the problems. You know as well as I do, you haven't got a brother named Pavel. 
Well, they need to understand that life's not easy for us. It's not like they do anything about it anyway. Just try not to get so riled up, Mariska. He was trying to help you out. The day I take help from those dogs is the day I die. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, alright? <laughs>